into question number three. For each compound, select all that apply. And basically, we have like conjugated, non conjugated, diene, or triene. So this is question number three. And I'm going to look at A. So we have a double bond here. And then we have a triple bond at the end. So for here, um, two multiple bonds. are separated by one carbon-carbon single bond. Uh, so therefore, for this compound, it is conjugated. Okay, so let's look at compound number B. You'll see we have three double bonds, all separated by one carbon-carbon single bond. So this compound is also conjugated. But I can also say that it is a triene. That means there are three, three double bonds. Okay, so now let's look at compound Number C, we have a triple bonded carbon here, single bond, another single bond, and then another triply bonded carbon. So this is example, this is an example of a non-conjugated compound. And that's because there are two carbon-carbon single bonds in between the two triple bonds. So therefore, this is non-conjugated. And then lastly, let's look at D. I have a double bond here. One carbon-carbon single bond. And then there is a ketone up there. So therefore, this is also conjugated. So let's look at the answer from our junior tutor. Conjugated, conjugated and triene, non-conjugated, conjugated. Remember, conjugated refers to every other bond regardless if it's a double or triple bond, and dienes and trienes only go with C to C bonds. So this solution is correct. Okay, so let us move on to...